Hi, I'm Kai from Invento and in front of me you'll see part of the Bulldog. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble the driving mechanism. The first thing you need to know is that there are three toothed belts. The one you need varies per ride and it's indicated in the manual. On the side of the belt you can find a code that indicates which belt it is. For instance, here we see a belt with 118 teeth. When you have the correct belt picked out, it's time to assemble the pedals. Take a left pedal and a left crank and secure it. Note that the left pedal secures counterclockwise. Twist it and secure it with a wrench. Do the same thing for the right side, but secure that one clockwise. Now it's time to secure the pedal to the axle. To do so, first take an M8 by 20 bolt and a large washer and secure it onto the axle. Fasten it. And when it's done, take the right pedal and secure it in place with two M8 by 20 bolts. We take the threaded clamping part and secure it to the axle flange with two M6 by 20 bolts. Don't completely tighten them, only do so slightly. Next, we take the large toothed belt pulley and secure it with five M6 by 12 bolts. Then use the Allen wrench to secure them. Now we can secure the belt pulley to the axle. To do so, we take a 5mm spacer, slide it over the axle, as well as the belt pulley. Now we can use our Allen key to secure the bolts we didn't fasten last time. To get some extra torque, you can use your Allen key handle for this. Now we can complete the axle. To do so, take two 2mm two spacers, take a large bearing block, we take one 10mm spacer and one 5mm spacer, and next the second bearing block. Now we're going to assemble the second pedal. To do so, we take one 1mm one spacer and the second pedal. Always make sure to align the pedals like this. To secure it, we take one M8 by 20 bolt and a large washer and secure it into the axle and fasten it. And finally, we can secure the crank with two more M8 by 20 bolts. And there you go, that's the driving axle complete. Now we can mount it on the Bulldog. Next, take four small positioning blocks, and place them in hexagonal bearing blocks like so. Make sure to have four profile nuts in the profiles and place the bearing blocks over the profile nuts. Use four M8 by 20 bolts to secure everything in place, but only do so slightly so that you can still move the entire axle. Now we can start on the small belt pulley. Take the belt pulley and the freewheel, this lets you freely spin the wheel when you're not pedaling, and place them over each other. But make sure to keep the open squares facing outwards, like so. You can secure them together with 5 M6 by 20 bolts and 5 M6 lock nuts. Secure them using a wrench. 
and the Allen key and tighten all five. To secure this part to the rear axle, we can take a 1 and a 2 mm spacer, followed by the belt pulley. This we close off with a 10 and a 2 mm spacer, so that we can next secure the assembly with a bolt. There we go. And now it's time to fit the belt. To do this, we place the belt over the large pulley and slide the axle backwards so that the belt can fit comfortably over the rear pulley as well. Now we can tension the belt. You can do this by sliding the axle forward. When we have a correct tension, secure the bolts. An extra hand can come in handy for this. You did it! Now you know how to assemble the driving mechanism. Have fun!